What's up guys and girls, Jonathan here with TLD, bringing you quite possibly the most important meal of the day. Today I'm bringing you the full review to the brand new iPad 2, which comes in two different flavors, white or black. You can pick this up 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes, and you can either choose Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi plus 3G, and choose your poison with AT&T or Verizon. The iPad 2 features a resolution of 1024 by 768 across a 9.7 inch LED backlit display. On the inside of the iPad we get a dual core 1 gigahertz A5 Apple processor. Now along with the new dual core CPU we get dual core graphics processing. Apple claims this to be nine times faster. According to benchmarks it's actually about six times faster than the previous iteration of the iPad. The biggest thing here though it's actually almost four times faster than the new Motorola Zoom. Very impressive nonetheless. The iPad 2 is insanely thin, coming in at 0.34 inches thick, weighs under a pound and a half, and is actually thinner than the iPhone 4. On the bottom of the iPad, you get your traditional Apple 30-pin dock connector, and to the left of that is the much improved speaker. You don't get so much of a volume increase, but it definitely is clearer. From left to right, we get the 3.5mm headphone jack, the built-in microphone, the rear-facing HD camera, which shoots at 720p, 30 frames per second. Just above that is the wake sleep button, and to the right of that is the mute button, alongside with the volume rockers up and down. On the front of the iPad, we get the front-facing VGA quality camera, which you're going to use for FaceTime video chat or photo booth, which will open up right now so you guys can get an example of how it works. The camera isn't great by any means. Don't expect it to replace your Canon or your Nikon, uh, but photo booth is actually a lot of fun. You guys can see me looking like a goofball right here. Oh, yeah. You can also look like the YouTube sensation, Beaner Kiki 19952 now that we've seen some of the pictures, let's go ahead and check out the video quality. Right now we're filming off the front-facing VGA camera in landscape mode using the built-in internal mic. Got a little bit of wind going in the background so you guys can see how that picks that up. Let's go ahead and move it to portrait. And this is kind of an idea of how to look and sound kind of in a FaceTime environment. Let's go ahead and jump over to the rear-facing HD camera. Alright, so we are on the rear-facing camera. This is in 720p. This is Melody. What's up, doggy? Get a super close-up. Say hi to the TLD viewers. You're going to be watched on YouTube. Bless you. So we are shooting 720p, 30 frames per second. Like I mentioned, if you have a good lighting situation, it's going to look pretty decent. To be honest, the uh, camera's kind of stuck in low light, but if you have good lighting, like I said, it's going to look pretty good. Alongside the HD camera comes iMovie for the iPad. This is a $5 paid application. Totally worth the money though. Very nicely laid out. What you're seeing right now is footage from Matt's Macintosh. He actually used nothing but the iPad's camera and iMovie for the iPad to create one of his reviews. I will post a link to check out that video as well as his channel. He puts out some great content. Next up is GarageBand for the iPad. This is also a $5 application but it's a lot of fun. It's also a 8-track, multi-track recorder so you can see how easy it is to adjust levels on the fly. Here's an example of smart drums for GarageBand on the iPad. You can manipulate the drums, get random patterns, pretty cool for songwriting. You can move the kicks, the snares, change it from simple, complex, loud, and quiet. Overall, I had a lot of fun playing with GarageBand. Definitely go pick this app up if you got the iPad. The iPad 2 ships with iOS 4.3. Here's a quick snippet of multitasking, how easy it is to adjust brightness on the fly. Alongside the improved graphics on the iPad 2, you get a three-axis gyroscope with an accelerometer, so gaming is absolutely awesome on the iPad 2, and there's tons and tons of apps in the App Store. One of the best parts about owning an iPad. Here's a quick example of smart covers for the iPad. I think they're awesome. They snap on via magnets. You can wake and turn off your iPad just by closing the cover. Overall, I'd say the iPad 2 is definitely a worthy upgrade. If you own the iPad 1, I wouldn't necessarily go run out and sell your iPad to go get this one unless you really look forward to the front-facing or the rear-facing cameras for FaceTime or you do a lot of gaming because the graphics has definitely improved. The iPad is super light. It feels really good in your hands. You can pick this up in white or black. I would personally recommend it. Really enjoying the iPad 2 so far. Thanks for watching this review. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out a few different videos covering the iPad, the unboxing if you missed that, and I'll catch you guys later.